Hey everybody, hey it's Brett with Apex Comics. Here's I here's last week's comic haul. <laughs> I haven't put out a video for this kind of thing in a while. It's snowing outside in Lubbock, Texas. God I mean look at it. What's the freaking snow? Look at this. It's nuts. I'm not getting out today. Screw that noise. Alright. So let's get back to business. Uh, this cover really has captured my eye. It looks like Man Thing with a, a freaking some Gatling guns <laughs> and a lot of bullets. This character is called Man Slaughter. This is his first appearance in Weapon Plus Number One, World War Four. Excellent. It's beautiful Cal Hots and Dan Brown cover. Had to get it. So I'm gonna take a look inside. Why do these pages stick together? That's an ad there. Beautiful scenery there. Um, it's Olympic Peninsula, Washington State. Uh, I used to live in Washington State back in the 90s. Very beautiful up there. And, well, that's basically, it's kind of the origin of, uh, well, yeah, man, so I'm not going to really, yeah, I'm, briefly go into it but that looks really cool then we have immortal hulk number 30 hulk versus the hulk why well, that doesn't look like the hulk well this is the original hulk zim knew originally he was brown then turned him white and he was brown in an earlier appearance of one of the monster comics let's say out of this Revealing, revealing, getting back to this again. This journey into mystery number sixty-two. And you see his face there. Similar. You see, look at that. He's called a Titan coming out of a Hulk. <laughs> this is like late fifties, folks. Ah, uh, but oh yeah. Here's a little shout out to Monsters, Monsters Lair Comics, Lubbock, Texas. Go visit them. They're great. All right. So let's. And how he evolved. He, you know, he's, he turned him white. And so got Zim new hate. There he is right there. See? Look at the similarities. Look at that. Yeah, that's actually that character appears in this book right here. Immortal Hulk 30. Pick it up. Still on sale. For, you know. $3.99, but I get 10% off at Monster's Lair, so it could be a great deal. Hey, watch therefore ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Matthew 24, 42. All right, so I uh, got Puck here. Eh, I'm just kind of get a little, uh, little brief appearance, little pages here. Joe Bennett artwork, beautiful. Good stuff. Wow. Okay. Looks uh, rather cosmic. And you got monsters uh, on the earth here. You have. Oh, I forget who she is. Uh, it's 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 absorbing man's girlfriend. Oh God. Uh, I can't think of her name. But anyway. In there, you you got creatures. You got monsters. You got the Hulk ripping stuff. And of course, oh, uh. Yeah, very. I'm not gonna reveal much in here, but yeah, that looks really cool. <laughs> so good, I get too. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They may sell out soon. The, the Moral Hulk sell out quite a bit. And we have the back issues. We got Submariner to add to my Submariner collection, number 27 and 43, which is a double size issue. It's a Kraken. And yeah. Uh, we got some nice Salbusima art. Uh, you know, Jug Gaudizio and Sam Rosen. Of course, Roy Thomas Stanley. I, Roy Thomas writes. I, I like Roy Thomas writing. He writes some wonderful World War II stuff. But Yeah, Namor being part of the original Invaders. And so you got him going up against the Kraken. Yeah. Looks really cool. Oh, there he is. He's 
yeah, we'll be I love these old ads, it's really cool. Going through good stuff, man. You got I'm not gonna reveal much in here, but you have Submariner, you got 43, number 43. I can't even oh, oh you got the beautiful Gene Colon artwork. Yeah, you remember Gene Colon, Daredevil, Iron Man, etc. etc. Mom. But yeah, you got Subby. I loved his uh, Submariner vs. Iron Man battle. If you, I'm sure you can get those at Marvel Essentials, but uh, I got that in uh, Sons of Origins of Marvel Comics. The original printings of those back in like the late 70s. Those are, I still have them. Those are worth quite a bit now. But yeah, beautiful work. Gene Cullen. Look at the shadows and the silhouettes of. Man, it looks like a London Tower. I don't know where that is, but. Oh, it's Boston, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but mm, look at that. Oh, you got the mind quake. Oh, okay, looks like he's hypnotizing people. And, uh, he's absorbing powers and God knows what. Oh, i got to read this. So, looks really cool. And let's go ahead and uh, go to the independents. Independents are really selling very well. The plot, number three. I have one and four and three, but I need two. So, this is from Vault Comics. Great stuff. I'm just kind of briefly go into it. Very creepy artwork. <laughs> it really works. Wow. Yeah, it's... Wow. Very cool. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful setting right there. Man. Oh, there's a froggy in the toilet. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, very cute. Yeah, nice. Uh, like a nice, looks like a nice wraparound. Vault is really growing in, in uh, popularity. They're getting some really good stories and art that, that really uh, blends well with the stories and the plot. That's a title to pick up. That's good. Of course, Vampire State Building, Charlie Adlard on the art. Former artist of Walking Dead. This is very slick. And he got Ang and uh, Renault on the writing tours. E, E, E. Sorry. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go into the creepiness of Vampire State Building. It's, oh, it's raining somewhere in New York. It's, yeah, it's, it's getting out of control. The vampire's taking over the building. And, Explosions. Wow. Look at that. It's a brilliant picture. Wow. Obviously, you got to take it from a photograph. But hey, it's very sharp. What do you have to do to complete those pages, man? Go for it, Charlie Adlard. Nice cityscapes. Look at that. Brilliant. You can actually just draw from a photographs and buildings and he really has some really good references gotta hand it to charlie adlar good stuff oh you have an upcoming it ain't over till i say so <laughs> all right some upcoming vampire state building five after that one so hey be sure to hit the like button subscribe Ring bell for notifications. I actually love this cover, man. So, hey, it's your friend Brett, Apex Comics. Uh, share uh, with your friends. Uh, I have over 100 subscribers. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. God bless you guys and gals who subscribe. Uh, take care. God bless. Ciao for now.